Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a pair of social network data breaches. Over the past few days, the big news has been data leaks that affect two big social networks, both Tumblr and MySpace. Both of these breaches were discovered because bad guys are selling lists of, of information, personal information, on the underground. In some cases, the leaks include uh, crackable credential information, and in another case, they mostly include email addresses. In either case, the first breach involves MySpace, and MySpace does admit that their network has been hacked. Apparently, a guy going by the name Peace released a huge set of records, over 427 uh, user records, but if you remove all the duplicates, it seems to be uh, information for over 360 million user accounts. And these do include things like the hashed credentials, the, the stored password. And by the way, it turns out that previously MySpace did not store passwords very well. While they did hash them, they did not do something called salt the hashes, which adds a little bit of randomness. Long story short, this means that attackers can probably crack most of these passwords, at least the ones that are under 10 characters. So there are over 360 million old user credentials for MySpace online and for sale. On top of that, Tumblr had a data leak as well. In this case, the same alleged attacker is selling over 65 million user records. Now, these user records primarily contain things like your name and email address. While they do contain hash credentials, in this case, Tumblr actually stored the credentials pretty securely. They are salted and they're fairly random. So it doesn't seem like attackers will be able to crack the Tumblr database, but they will be able to get a lot of users' email addresses from that particular link. Anyways, this seems to be a very regular story. Big online web properties are having their databases stolen, and the result is many users, including maybe you, have your personal information, and in some cases, even your password information leaked online. What you should do about it? Well, as far as the passwords go, the MySpace leak is definitely the worst. MySpace did say it reset all the affected users' accounts, so they should be forcing you to change your password if you're an affected user. But more importantly, as I say repeatedly when these kind of breaches come to light, you need to make sure you're not using the same password everywhere. I also heavily recommend you consider two-factor or multi-factor authentication. If you have that enabled on the sites that accept it, even if a bad guy gets your password, where they'll need yet another credential to actually log in as you. Anyways, just wanted to share the story. If you're a Tumblr or MySpace user, you might want to go out and change your passwords. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.